I'd like to invite Pubali Chowdhury. Pubali is an accomplished screenplay writer with films such as Kai Pao Che and Rock On under her belt. Do you think you, as a writer, uh, would ever think of dealing with a subject which deals with climate change packaged in what is called a disaster uh, film? And if yes, uh, how would you go about doing it? Right. First off, something like a like climate change, is it one of my most personal uh, things that disturb me and motivate me? Honestly, no. I read about it in newspapers. It's a fairly distant thing. India is completely chaotic. We don't even manage our garbage. No wonder we are, <laughs> we're, we're living on a time bomb. So does it have a personalized connect with me as yet? No. But at the same time, I understand that it's a pressing concern. And But I think as a storyteller, I'm always looking for more personalized connects instead of, you know, and I'm not into nonfiction, I'm not a documentary filmmaker or a writer. Uh, so I would always look for a dramatic situation where this can, this can pan out. Obviously, this means a lot of research, and uh, you do want to be authentic with that, and a resource like the Third Eye would be extremely useful. As you know, in India, writers are just tied to their computers, and. Google, you know, Google is your oyster. If that throws up all the information that you need. Uh, but it will be nice to have like a human interface, maybe talk to a subject expert and, you know, clarify certain things. Yeah, that, I suppose that's the way I would go about it. Bali, um, I have a question for you. In Hollywood, we never try to make writers, producers, and directors socially responsible. If we did it, they would never talk to us. Either they are or they aren't. So we're not trying to change anybody. What we did instead is we went to the industry and asked people, what is your goal? What does success look like? And this is mostly with television writers. And they almost all say to us, it's to tell the most compelling story I can. That's what my goal is. And so we positioned the resource of Hollywood Health and Society and now the third eye to help them meet their goals, not ours. And so it's not about you know, evangelizing, as Mahesh said. But what happens is, when we help them meet their goal, they meet ours in the process. But I'd like to hear your perspective on this issue. Right. I think I was misinformed to begin with. I was told that this panel is about cinema and social responsibility. <laughs> so I had a completely different context in mind. I thought we'd be talking about women portrayal of women in Indian cinema, which is, you know, currently the rave topic, and I have very divergent views about it. Uh, smile. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right, so I think social responsibility is, it's just one of those words, like the word intellectual. It's just so tortured, you know. <laughs> you, you have it in you, but you don't want it to be like a diktat on you, sure. I think what's kind of important is is to be true to your creative vision, right? And uh, if your story or you know, if the subject that you're working on requires research, it, it is your responsibility to be you know, uh, rightly informed about it, to do carry out research and all of that. So that seems perfectly fine. Uh, but I also think, which is not, might not be related directly to what Third Eye does, but most mainstream narratives, uh, let's put it this way, I think the the sole responsibility of the artist is to be true to his or her vision and to talk about things which are not being talked about, right? And most mainstream systems and narratives don't allow that. So that's, you know, so what am I going to be responsible with? Showing that a young couple lives happily ever after. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about anything that's really disturbing because neither my audience nor my producers are very sure that we want to have a dialogue about that. Right? So I think that's where a creative responsibility, I don't know about responsibility, but a creative instinct can definitely feel curtailed. Do, do you know what I mean? Yes. Like I'm not going to talk about very unpleasant things, very disturbing things, because most mainstream narratives are going to keep up the status quo. And I think that's an artistic failure at times. I, and I don't mean individually, I mean collectively as a community or as a system. When you work in a mainstream space, you're not talking about things that really need talking about. <laughs>